Mm. Now today, I want to talk specifically to the Esthers of today. I want to talk to the Abigails like me, mm. to the Ruths out there. I want to talk to those ladies that are not afraid to take their rightful position. You've got the power of one, meaning yes, you might not be able to do everything at once, but whatever it is that you find, your hands are able to reach, your hands are able to touch. That very thing has been entrusted to you to change. That very thing is what God has placed in your hand because you know what women do? Women will take a house and make it into a home. <laughs> they, will make, they will take ingredients and groceries and they will change it into a meal. Now you need to understand the grace that comes with being a woman and then the power that comes with that grace. Ah, because you see, we can't talk about power outside of God's glory. That's why he says in Isaiah 60, he says, Arise and shine for your light has come. He says, What will be seen in you? My glory. Meaning that where God has placed his power in you, where he has placed his spirit in you, there is no other way than for God's glory to be seen in you. Meaning that wherever God has positioned you, whatever he has brought in your path, is so that his glory can be seen through the power he exerts through you. Mm. Sure. 071-113-1928. That is the WhatsApp number. 071-113-1928. Happy Women's Month. The power of one. Mm. Oh yeah.